Welcome back to another video. This week we have got a new taste test video and I'm doing something a little bit different for it this week. So as you can probably see by the title, I've decided to do a my protein taste test and try out all of the flavours of protein that they do. I don't know why I've never thought of this video idea before because my channel is a mixture of like fitness videos and like food slash taste test videos so it's literally just like the perfect combination of like fitness and like food taste test in one video. Um, so yeah that is what we are doing today. I have ordered 30 samples from the My Protein website and we're going to be giving them all a try and giving them a rating and just kind of letting you know what I think of them. My protein have got a lot of flavours and especially if it's your first time ordering I know that it can be quite overwhelming trying to decide which flavour to go for. I thought that this video might be quite useful and um, just to kind of get a bit of a review of all of the different flavours before you come to buy it for yourself. I did just order like the little sample packs. They do sell a lot more flavours than what's in this video. This was just what was in stock of the samples at the time that I ordered. So my protein do two different types of protein powder. So they've got their normal like whey protein that makes like the milkshake type protein shakes but they have also got the clear whey which makes like more of a like juice kind of drink. For this video I have just gone for like the classic protein that makes like the milkshake type drinks. If you do want me to do a separate video trying all of the clear whey flavours then leave a comment down below and I'll get that filmed at some point in the next few months. So I should have probably thought this through a little bit better because I've only got three shakers. So I'm going to have to do like 10 different batches. There's going to be a lot of washing up in between but it'll be fine. So the first three flavours that I have got here, I'm going to start with the one in the middle because I think this one's going to be quite nice. So this is chocolate orange flavour. I have had quite a few of the chocolate flavours but I don't think I've ever had chocolate orange. So let's give this a try. It's okay. I mean, it does taste like chocolate orange, but it's quite like a subtle flavour. I don't know if I've maybe just put a bit too much water in and it maybe just a little bit watered down. But yeah, it's like the flavour is there, but it's not like really, really strong. I mean, it's nice and I would quite happily drink it, but I can't see myself ever like buying it. Um, So I'm going to give it maybe like a 6 out of 10 for the chocolate orange. So this one is natural vanilla. I think a vanilla protein shake is always quite safe. Mm, that, that's actually really nice. I personally wouldn't sit and drink a vanilla protein shake because I do just think like it is a little bit boring, although it is nice. But vanilla is really, really handy for having like in oats or making protein pancakes um, and stuff like that. So yeah, I would say that this is like quite a good flavour to try. I'm going to give it... I'm going to give it an 8.5 out of 10 because um, it's a nice flavour and it is drinkable and you can use it in like a lot of different things. So yeah, 8.5 out of 10 for the natural vanilla. Okay, so this one is Cinnamon Danish. I've never ever had this one before. To be honest, I'm not really a massive fan of cinnamon. Like I like it if it's just like a subtle cinnamon flavour, but I don't like it when it's too strong. So I'm not quite sure what I'm going to think of this one. Oh, it does smell quite strong of cinnamon. Oh, it's actually not too bad. It smells a lot stronger than it tastes, definitely. Um, again, I don't think I would sit and drink this. I think I would probably put it in like my oats or something, or again, make pancakes with it. It's not as bad as what I was expecting. I mean, there are definitely other flavours that I would rather have than this one. But if you like cinnamon, then this is probably like a really good flavour for you. So I think I'm going to give the cinnamon six. Same as the chocolate orange because it is nice. It's a lot nicer than what I was expecting. But I personally wouldn't 
buy it again. So up next we have got apple crumble and custard. Oh my god, it's fallen out everywhere. Apple crumble and custard. <laughs> This is one that I would never ever think to buy. So I am quite interested to see what it's gonna be like. I think like apple on its own and like custard on its own would work quite well, but I, I just, I don't know. I've got like literally no idea what to expect for this one. Hmm, okay. Again, it does taste a lot better than what I was expecting. It's quite sweet at the beginning, but then like the apple flavor kind of like comes in at the end. It is actually quite nice. I think like when you first taste it, it's really hard to tell what the flavor is. But then like as soon as the apple comes in, you're like, oh, okay. I'm gonna go, I can't decide between 6.5 or seven. I'm gonna go 6.5. Okay, so this one is ruby chocolate and it comes in a cool little pink puck. Oh my goodness. That is really, really nice. Oh my God. Wow. It does kind of taste a bit like strawberry, raspberry, but it's not like too strong. It's like such a nice sweet flavour. There's not many protein shakes that I feel like I could sit and like drink and enjoy it. But this one, oh my god, like it is honestly so nice. I'm gonna have to give that a 9 out of 10. That is honestly so good is pineapple flavour, which I do think is a bit of a strange one for a protein shake. I think they do have a pineapple clear way, which I think works because it's like a juice. But because this is like kind of like more of a milkshake, not 100% convinced. Mm. Not a fan. Like I thought, it does kind of taste kind of weird having pineapple in like a milky drink. It doesn't really work. The flavour is okay, but yeah, I just, I don't think it works. I would not recommend getting this one. Like I wouldn't want to drink it. I wouldn't want to put it in oats or pancakes or anything. Um, yeah, bit of a weird one. I think this is definitely the least, my least favourite one that I've tried so far. So I'm going to give it... 2.5. Next one we're gonna try is coffee caramel flavour. Now I'm not really a massive coffee fan. I don't really think I'm gonna like this one but I mean if you like coffee then I guess it might be quite nice. Oh my god that smells so strong. Right. It smells a lot stronger than it tastes, definitely. The taste is bearable for someone that doesn't like coffee. But I mean, yeah, I definitely wouldn't buy like a bag of it. It's just not my cup of tea, but it is quite a sweet coffee taste. It's not like too strong, too bitter. Um, but yeah, just not for me. I think I would probably give it, hmm, I'm gonna say 4.5 because I think if you like coffee, then I think it will be quite nice. But just for me, yeah, not not my favourite flavour. So yeah, 4.5 for the coffee caramel. So this is summer fruits flavour, which is another one that I don't really know how well it's gonna work in like a milky drink. I always think like the fruity ones are gonna be better for the clear way because it's much nicer like having like a summer fruits juice rather than a summer fruits milkshake, but. Mm. And it smells kind of weird. Oh no. <laughs> That's like, oh God. It's kind of like sour, but not. It doesn't really taste that fruity. And I mean, you can sort of get like the flavor of fruit it kind of tastes a bit like sherbet, you know when it's like fruity but it's kind of like frothy. 
that that's kind of what it is it's not a very nice flavor if i'm gonna be completely honest i'm gonna give it i think i'm actually gonna give it like a one it is so bad i wish i could give you a zero but that's not possible so i give you a one this one is one of the chocolate flavors so we've got chocolate mint which I definitely think is going to be a lot nicer than the summer fruits and I really like a mint hot chocolate so I'm hoping that this is going to be nice I don't actually think I've ever had this one before either mm. that's really nice actually it's like sweet but refreshing at the same time it's the same sort of flavor as like an after eight quite like that I think I'm going to give that one mm, 7.5 Okay, so next one is one that I personally get all the time, um, so I obviously really like it. So I'm not gonna like spend too long talking about it, but it's the cereal milk flavour. I don't know why I'm tasting it because I know exactly what it tastes like. Um, but yeah, it's the cereal milk flavour and I really, really like this one. If you've watched my last What I Eat In A Day, you'll know that at the moment I'm really enjoying having it like on top of cereal. It also works really well in oats and it is one that like you could imagine just kind of like sitting drinking um so yeah i personally really really like the cereal milk and i would give it 8.5 out of 10. okay so next one this one is strawberries and cream so i used to have this one at uni quite a lot and i remember it just tasting exactly like strawberry milkshake it just tastes exactly the same to be fair it is quite sweet it does taste just kind of like a strawberry milkshake, strawberry ice cream, that sort of like idea. Um, I would probably give this one mm, 7 out of 10. And then we've got another chocolate one. So this one is chocolate banana. Oh, it's kind of got a really funny aftertaste. The first sip that I had... It tasted like the crust of a Domino's pizza. That is like what it reminded me of. Um, it does taste like slightly of banana, but it's kind of, it's just a weird flavor. No, I was expecting this one to be much, much better. So I'm gonna give this one two out of 10. Okay, so we're going straight back in with another chocolatey one. So this one is Rocky Road flavour. Mm. It is quite nice, it's quite sweet and I would imagine it getting quite sickly. It's definitely a lot, a lot nicer than some of the other flavours that I've tried so far but in my opinion there are better chocolatey flavours um, that my protein do. So yeah, it's not bad, but it's not the best. Very, very sweet. So if that's not your cup of tea, I would probably avoid this one. I'm gonna go with six, because like I said, there are definitely worse ones, but there are definitely better ones out there as well. Okay, this next one, I'm very, very intrigued about. So this one is matcha latte. And as you can see, it's this very nice green looking color. Do not know what to expect for this one. I mean, it doesn't smell the best. Kind of smells like grass, which is not a good start. I feel like when you first taste it, it doesn't really taste of anything. And then like the aftertaste comes in and it does just taste like grass. Not that I've ever tasted grass, but it's what I imagine grass to taste like. I just, I do not know why anyone would want to buy that. <laughs> Literally like zero out of ten. And this one is hopefully going to be a lot nicer than the previous. So this one is cookies and cream. I feel like I have had this before, but I can't remember at all what I thought of it. It does just kind of taste like a bit of a sweeter version of the vanilla. It doesn't really taste like like cookies or Oreos or whatever. 
um, yeah, just kind of like a sweeter version of the vanilla. I mean, it's nice. And again, it is one of those that you could literally drink, you could put in your oats, you could make pancakes. So like it is quite like a versatile flavour. 6.5, 7 maybe. It's not what I imagined like the cookies and cream to taste like, but it's nice. So we're back to the fruity ones for the next one. So this one is blueberry and raspberry flavour. I feel like it's the same situation with all the fruity ones. Like I just don't really know how they work in like a milky drink. That's actually not too bad. It does kind of work, to be fair. A lot better than like some of the other fruity ones, definitely. I think I would maybe give it a six. Because again, it's one of those, I wouldn't rush to buy it again, but like I could happily sit and drink one and enjoy it. So this one is chocolate coconut. I mean, I like chocolate, I like coconut. So in theory, I should like this. was not expecting that so the coconut flavor is quite like artificial it kind of tastes like a chemical-y coconut and it's quite strong definitely not as nice as i was expecting maybe like four 3.5 let's go with 3.5 out of 10 for the chocolate coconut definitely a bit of a letdown for that one this one is maple syrup flavour which I do think is a bit of a weird flavour to have like as a protein shake I think it would work well in oats or like in pancakes but I can't imagine sitting drinking like a maple syrup drink I mean like it's a nice flavour but as I expected I wouldn't drink it but I do think it would work well in other things. Maybe give it like a six. We've got tiramisu for the next one. Um, as I mentioned before, I don't really like coffee, so I'm not expecting to like this that much, but it'll be interesting to see what it's like compared to the other coffee one. I feel like the coffee taste in this one is quite a bit stronger like it tastes quite sweet at the beginning and then the coffee taste kind of like hits and it does kind of leave like quite a strong coffee taste in your mouth so for me the coffee caramel one that I had earlier was definitely better than this one it was just kind of more of like a sweeter like more pleasant taste than what this is but again if you like coffee then you'll probably quite like this um, it's not a bad flavour but yeah, just not for me. So I think I might give it a five. Okay, so this one is banoffee flavour, which I'm quite looking forward to. Um, the last banana one was a bit of a letdown, so hopefully this one will be a bit better. Mm. It's not really that strong a flavour. Um, you do kind of get like a tiny little bit of banana, um, but yeah, it's not too overpowering and it is quite sweet. I mean, for my personal preference, I think I would maybe like a little bit more of a banana flavour. But like, it's it's nice. So I'm going to give this one maybe a 7. I think it could be a little bit better. But it's definitely one of like the nicer ones that I've tried in this video. Raspberry flavour with sweetener. Oh, it's not really got much flavour to it. I was expecting it, because it says on the packet, like, with sweetener, I was expecting it to be quite sweet, but it's not. It just doesn't really taste of much. There is, like, a slight raspberry flavour there, but, yeah, it doesn't really taste like that much. Maybe going to give this one a four. I'm definitely starting to get that like horrible sicky protein feeling now but I've only got a couple more left so I'm just gonna keep powering through and get them all done so this next one is another one of my go-to's I always have like a big bag of this in the cupboard so I don't want to spend too long talking about it but it's the chocolate brownie flavour in my opinion this one is the best of the chocolate flavours 
I have tried quite a few different ones and this one just kind of seems to work the best. So yeah, like I said, I have this quite a lot in oats, in smoothies and I would say if you're wanting a chocolate flavour, I would definitely recommend getting the chocolate brownie. I would give chocolate brownie, I would say 8.5 out of 10. Okay, up next we have got white chocolate raspberry flavour which I think is probably going to be quite similar to like all of the other strawberry raspberry flavours. Mmm. That's, that's really nice that one actually. It does taste quite similar to the strawberries and cream. Very very similar taste. I would maybe say the strawberries and cream is like a tiny little bit sweeter than this one but they do taste very very similar. Um, I would maybe give it a 7, 7.5 maybe. Um, yeah, it's quite nice to drink that one. Okay, this one is another one that I'm not really sure about. So it's peach tea flavour. They have got a peach tea flavour clear way, which is like the juice. And I have had that and I do really like that. I think it works quite well. But I just don't know how it's going to work in this type of drink. Like I just can't really imagine it. Oh, okay. So it's definitely a lot more like peachy than the clear way flavour. And it does actually work like a lot better than what I was thinking it was gonna. I do actually quite like that, surprisingly. It tastes just like a peach yogurt. I think I might give it mm, 6.5. So this one is blueberry cheesecake flavour. Never had before. Would never think to buy this if it wasn't for the video. The blueberry raspberry one is a little bit sweeter. Um, and it has kind of a bit more of like a stronger flavour. Whereas this one is a little bit more subtle. It is still quite sweet but just not as sweet as the other one. They are very, very similar flavours and there's not really much difference between the two. I'm probably going to give this one 6.5, I think. So back with another chocolatey one. I think this is the last chocolate flavour that I've got actually. So this is chocolate peanut and caramel. So I used to always get the chocolate peanut butter flavour. I don't know if they've replaced the chocolate peanut butter with the chocolate peanut and caramel or whether this is like a completely different flavour. I'm not a hundred percent sure but we'll soon find out when we when we give it a try. It does smell very similar to what the chocolate peanut butter did so I'm thinking that it's maybe the same flavour but they've just like changed it slightly. I can't decide if that's the same flavour or not. It tastes very similar but like there's a little, this one tastes like a little bit more bitter. I feel like the chocolate peanut butter was very sweet and like quite sickly whereas this one, it's more of like peanut flavour rather than like peanut butter. Like it's kind of, it's not as sweet. I don't know if you get what I mean with that but yeah, it is different to what the chocolate peanut butter used to taste like. I'm not really getting any caramel. I was thinking that because of the caramel it was going to be quite sweet. Um, but yeah, literally it's more of just like a chocolate peanut flavour than anything else. So I'm probably going to give it maybe like a 4.5. Because, I mean, it's definitely not my favourite. But... As we've seen throughout this video, there are definitely a lot worse flavours out there than this one. So yeah, 4.5 for that one. Then this one is strawberry jam roly poly. So I think that this one's probably going to taste very similar to the strawberries and cream. I mean, it, it pretty much tastes the same. I feel like this one's got like a bit more of like a deeper flavour. The strawberries and cream is like quite light and like creamy. Um, but yeah, it's pretty much the same flavour. So yeah, there's really not much difference between the two. 6.5, I'm gonna go for it. Second last one is natural banana. Hopefully it'll taste like a banana milkshake, but we shall see. 
Mm, that that's actually quite nice. Definitely the best of like the banana -y flavors that I've tried, anyways. Um, really like that. To be fair, I think like it would be quite nice to like sit and drink. So I'm gonna give that one seven point five, I think. And then on to the last one. This one is white chocolate flavour. I think this one could be like really, really sweet. White chocolate normally is quite sweet, so. Hmm. It's actually quite a bit better than what I was expecting. It is sweet, but it's not like too sweet. And it's just quite like a nice subtle flavour actually. And again, I think that this one would be quite nice just to like sit and drink. I'm gonna give this one 7.5, I think. So we have definitely ended the video on a high with two good flavours. I feel like there has been like quite a variety in this video. Some flavours have been really, really good. Others have been really, really bad. I'm not gonna lie. My favourite from this video was definitely the ruby chocolate. That was a pleasant surprise. I did really, really like that. And then... I would obviously have to say the cereal milk and the chocolate brownie just because they're the ones that I always go for. I've not got a bad word to like say about them. Um, so yeah, I would definitely say those are my top three flavours to try. Um, ones that I would definitely avoid. The matcha, green tea, latte, whatever it was called. Do not buy that really really not that nice and the summer fruits was the other one that was just like a big thumbs down um so yeah definitely avoid those two <laughs> but yeah thank you so much for watching the video i hope that you enjoyed it and i hope that you kind of found it helpful getting a bit of an insight into like what some of the flavors taste like remember to hit the thumbs up button and it would be amazing if you could subscribe if you haven't already and i will see you next wednesday for a new video